Hello, this is Nathan Lott, and on today's screencast, I'm going to be talking about Thumb Jam for $8.99 on the App Store. So just as it sounds, this app is for making music by just sliding your thumb back and forth, and you can set different scales, but there's a whole lot more you can do with it, and it really allows for a lot of creativity on the iPad. So let's take a look at it. Thumb Jam is compatible with both InterApp Audio uh, through Apple and also through AudioBus. And I've talked about both in previous podcasts and previous screencasts on GarageBand and on AudioBus. So this is what Thumb Jam looks like. You have your instrument that you have selected. In this case, it's the electric bass. Then you have all of these stripes. And to play, you just slide your finger on all the stripes. You can change the scale by going into sound and Say if you wanted a blue scale, you could choose that. If you wanted to change the key, you can tap on the sharpen flats and let's change it from E to C. If that's too low, you can raise the octave by pressing on the octave plus button. You can also increase or decrease the span of the stripes to whatever you want. And so let's change the scale back to a regular major scale. And we'll turn on the metronome here. and just do a common chord progression on uh, with the electric bass, and we'll start our song. So we'll press on record to start our recording. So when you're done with your loop, it starts to play it. We can turn off the metronome. And we'll just keep looping. Now we can add another instrument. We go to sound, change instrument, and now let's put a little dirty organ on there and we'll record again. Now it'll say it's starting to record in seven, se uh, count down the beats. And I'll keep on playing. Now let's add another instrument. And let's do one that's a little bit different. And we'll add a trombone. Now you notice the stripes have changed. Because the trombone can go into micro pitches, you can do the same thing with uh, thumb jam. So let's try this.
Okay, so that gives you an idea of the different sounds. Let's change the instrument again, and uh, let's look at some of the drums. In the drum area, you have uh, like a drum pad. You have your kicks, hi-hats, your snare, rim shot, ride cymbals, cry cymbals. So we could add our own drum track. And this didn't line up very well, so this will give you a good example of how to delete a loop or clear a loop. So you go into loops and you can delete the last or you can clear all of them. So let's delete the last one. Other things you can do with loops, you can record loop from there. You can bring up a mixer. So if you want the bass to be louder, you can bring up the bass and bring down the rest of them. All right, so you can adjust the levels on your loops. You can load loops if you have them in. You can adjust the BPM on your metronome. You can quantize the starts, which means it waits for the start of the first loop before starting the record. And then you have metronome options. You can do the default, you can do a cowbell sound or a hi-hat sound. So those are your loops. Let's go back to a regular instrument. Let's go to acoustic guitar and say that I didn't want my span to be these uh, regular stripes. I can tap on this button and change it to the same mode we had on the trombone. That means I can bend the strings. I can have a square or uh, diagonal lines for the uh, for the stripes. You can do a, a sustain pedal by holding it or by double tapping it to do a sustain button at the bottom or a sustain lock. And double tap again to remove it. You can split the screen. So if I wanted to have uh, two screens. The top one will be acoustic guitar. The second one will be, we'll change it to uh, blues or organ. So now at the top of the screen, I have my blues organ. <laughs> And at the bottom of the screen, I have my acoustic guitar. I can tell it to match the scale so that the bottom and the top are the same. And you can have up to four split screens. Uh, if you want to record a, with a microphone, you tap the red record button with the microphone in it. If you want to record your whole session, loops and all, then you tap on the third uh, red icon. Again, Changing instruments and scale is all done through sound. You can adjust the volume and you can mute instruments, force it to mono, and so on. You can also create your own instrument and download samples of your instruments. You can adjust the effects on any of the instruments. So adjust the reverb, room size and level, and delay, low pass filter, and all of that, as well as controls, vibrato, velocity, volume, tremolo, and effects, and then attack times and release times for your sample sets as well. In the preferences area, you can tell it to have background audio. You can do a power saver, so it suspends background audio MIDI processing, uh, avoid battery drain, and revert mixes down the reverb and um, when you share it out, 
You can set the number of count in bars, reference tuning. You can show the note names, interval names, show a note grid, and just a whole lot of other things in the preferences. Under MIDI control, you can have a MIDI input, like a, a little MIDI keyboard that you can a attach to your iPad through the camera connection kit and play that way. You can also do MIDI out using a tool like music I dash I slash O music I O or MIDI. I think it's, I think it's music I slash O that will let you turn your iPad into a MIDI device. So you can do MIDI output as well. You can import and, out and export your, your mixes. You can share it to SoundCloud or export to another app called Audio Share that catches all of these uh, type of things, that, uh, music files that you create with the iPad. You can also transfer via Wi-Fi, wi and you can also do Bluetooth collaboration if you have someone else with this app with an, uh, blue uh, with an iPad as well. So that is the basics of Thumb Jam. It is a very full-featured app. You can do a lot with it, but it's also just fun to play with as well. And that's going to do it for this screencast. Hope you enjoyed, and talk to you next time.